Okay, I'm going to read through my notes. Time and date. Video. Personally, this is, um, so I wrote this earlier today. So um, I believe the Lacerto files are true. I found the account to be self validating. It just sounds true, plausible to me. So I, I believe in it. <laughs> As noted in the Lacerda files, the Bible talks about the war between the native Earth reptilians and the Elohim aliens, and between the Elohim themselves. But this information is presented, and I quote from the Lacerda files, in a very strange way of description, end quote. And uh, by that I mean that the Bible, uh, the Old Testament, I think, I think, uh, you know, it's not about a God, the creator of the universe, it's a, that, that story is about the Elohim and their creating humanity. So these aliens from this other star system, I think they're from the Aldebaran star system. They came here about 1.5 million years ago. And they started uh, genetically modifying some of the, our simian ancestors. Um, prehistoric humans, you could say, well, about 1.5 million years, 1.5. That's when they started the process of accelerating the evolution of our species. Apparently between, apparently um, there have been seven versions of humanity uh, throughout this 1.5 million year period. And uh, the people who, our ancestors, the civilization who built the pyramids were around 75,000 years ago. Those were the fifth iteration of humanity. And the sixth iteration of humanity was about 16,000 years ago. This is apparently the people who built the Bimini civilization, I think that's around the uh, Bermuda Triangle, Florida, around that area. They could be, I think, the Atlanteans, maybe, that's who they were. And the seventh iteration is us. Like, we are the seventh iteration, and that happened around 8,500 years ago. So after the Younger Dryas, after the flood, the worldwide flood. Um, so, so here's, you know, they go, the Elohim apparently left the planet around 5,000 years ago, and it's likely they're going to come back, because apparently they, these aliens, they've destroyed previous versions of humanity, maybe some of our ancestors survived, I think that's why you have all these different races of humans. They, they have different skin color and features. I think these are different versions of humanity. Uh, some of them maybe survived various <laughs> extinction events or wars. Uh, and, uh, you know, so you have all these different races on the, on, the, on, the, on the planet. And maybe there are other genetic modifications done by the reptilians themselves, maybe other, other ETs. And I think this process is ongoing, the genetic modification of humanity. Um, some of the stuff 
now this stuff is sort of speculative like i'm saying i think some of the elohim stayed back and lived with humanity like when they left around five thousand years ago uh you know according to the lucid files no reason was given as to why the elohim left and i'm sort of speculating i think a mission was given to the remaining humans uh maybe some of these humans were more advanced or maybe the atlanteans this is what i'm speculating I'm speculating like the people who were involved with the atlantis all right around the, the the sixth iteration of humanity i think they might have had like psychic powers and they were using psychic powers to use crystals and stuff that's maybe how they created their civilization and uh maybe the people who built the pyramids also had psychic ability right and because these people had psychic ability they were more difficult to control so i think when the elohim the elohim um let me put it this way according to the list of files a war between the terran reptilians and the elohim ensued because the Elohim developed the fifth and sixth iteration of humanity. Why did that war start? Maybe these, the fifth, <coughs> the, the humans who built the pyramids and the humans who built Atlantis, the fifth and sixth iteration, I think. Maybe they were more advanced and they could maybe pose a threat to the reptilians. You know, maybe they had psychic powers and they could uh interface with some kind of a you know frequency technology i'm speculating and be, uh, maybe that's why they they had a war because but because they were a threat to the natives um so and apparently as a result of this war you know there were like battles in the space and uh, the surface and a lot of uh, the elohim bases were destroyed and um this is interesting isn't it like how one species feels threatened by another species because they have advanced capabilities that's like a very natural thing So you could say that the Elohim, they wanted to create humans with advanced technology, but this was interpreted as a threat. And um, so the reptilians, you could say, want humanity kind of dumbed down uh, they, because they don't want humans to be a threat. Um, they're perhaps willing to tolerate humanity. Um, and you know the story in the Bible about Lucifer and you know the Satan rebelling from God. That the, I think in in the Lesser Files it's stated that the Elohim were, uh, fought between themselves because apparently some of them did not agree with the idea of create you know creating humans because they didn't see any point to it apparently and um and you could maybe you know in the story in the bible you know where, where they call see some of the angels of the sons of god you know have found the daughters of humanity attractive and they had children with these humans and they, these were the nephilim so the idea here is that some of these elohim formed emotional bonds with the humans because the humans were kind of like them, except they didn't maybe, um, yeah, that's probably what they had. They, 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 they formed relationships with the humans they created, especially the advanced ones, not the ones right now. I think the ones right now, the modern humans, they have a degeneration in that fact that they don't have psychic capability. And I think they, uh, the modern, modern humanity dies 
they don't live long. If you look at the Bible, people in the old age, they used to live hundreds of years, whereas now we die quicker. I think this is by design. They modified. I think when they created the seventh version of humanity, uh, some modification was installed where we wouldn't have psychic ability and we wouldn't live long, thereby making us easier to control. But I don't It's very complicated because you got all these different factions like alliances and so I don't know the exact details. Um, so what I'm speculating, um, the question I have is who are who are the people who are living in Antarctica? You know, there is a breakaway civilization. So who is who is in Antarctica? I'm not sure. I'm. I have some ideas. Um, is is it? There is a breakaway group living in Antarctica. This is my speculation. I think these. Are these people are these people connected to the Elohim? Um, or are they aligned with the Terran reptilians? Or is there an alliance between some Elohim, uh, some advanced humans, Atlanteans, and some reptilians. There is a, this is a, that's a nice speculation. I don't have much information about this. So later I write, who is in Antarctica? I don't know, it could be the Terran reptilians, or it could be the people who worship the Elohim, or it could be a combination of the two. Maybe some of the Elohim made an alliance with the Terran reptilians, and it is these who are in Antarctica, along with their human allies, maybe the Atlanteans and the deep state, the secret space program people. Remember Reagan's speech about the world becoming united in the face of an alien threat? Uh, this is another theory or speculation. Um, I think the deep state cabal is trying to prepare humanity for a war with the Elohim, the ones who are antagonistic to humanity. Yes, the Elohim created humans on this planet, and they have destroyed previous human civilizations. Apparently, we are the seventh iteration. Could it be that the... Could it be that... The New World Order, One World Government, is a plan by this cabal to get humanity united in preparation for a battle against the Elohim? Is a... So should we view the deep state as a danger to humanity or, or should we view their actions as positive in defense of humanity? But their plan is being thwarted. By whom? Are there alien species such as the greys or by human ignorance? If this cabal wants to prepare humanity for a battle with the Elohim, isn't it better they tell humans this directly and openly instead of trying to do it in secret? Are they so uh, afraid of uh, freaking people out? Uh, do they have such a... I guess... <sighs> anyway. Instead, they are trying to do this in secret. This is such foolishness. Tell humans their existence is going to be threatened in the future and humans will prepare themselves for it, for this, for this.
Yeah, so if I'm going to be optimistic about the people in Antarctica who could be the Atlanteans and the reptilian alliance, the Terran reptilians, and maybe some remnant of the Elohim who wanted to align themselves with humanity. You know, they have all this advanced technology. But here is another way of looking at it. Here's another die question. What if these people in Antarctica decided that humanity has no chance against the Elohim and it's better that it's better they die out before the Elohim come back? And what if the means for making this happen has already been implemented? Which is like the recent uh, because of censorship I have to talk in rather vague terms. I think people understand recent disease and its cure but the cure especially. Nanotechnology that can be activated wirelessly to create heart attacks. You know, I think you should do research into that. <laughs> this is a very bad situation. This is another speculation. This is another speculation on my part. I think these people in Antarctica want most of humanity to die out so they can take over. They are waiting for the Elohim to come back to activate this plan, maybe in 2030. It may, it may have already been set in motion and it's too late for most of humanity to fight back because of the cure, the worldwide cure program, if you catch my drift. They are a breakaway civilization after all. They have all the advanced tech. They don't want to share this with us. They want us to die out so they can implement their new utopian world. And this is my criticism. These people are so myopic and foolish. I'm not sure the Elohim will spare them. It might be that they are the ones they are the ones who might be the actual gullible ones. Oh. Yeah, okay, that doesn't so here is a quote about the cure and how it might cause the eventual death of humanity. So these are some of my speculations and I wanna like like I saw this video where there was this mermaid uh, a crypto terrestrial an alien and non human intelligence that was filmed that was filmed by this uh someone here this is a this is this shows you how there are all these different species living in the oceans i mean this looks like a an intelligent being with with it looked like it came out of a movie but it, it's you know it's, it's real <laughs> i mean and then the, the the funny thing is how they cover it up uh, crypto, forget it I'm just going memory it's an animal planet but you know you should watch it for yourself and see it <laughs> so what you should know is like this happened in 2013 and it's look how they covered it up where the people you know People are told to shut up, don't talk about it. Why? Because they don't want to raise panic. They think uh, they think that the people, if people find out there are all these alien species interacting with us, it's going to create a breakdown of society. They have to deal with this. And I feel like the reason they're not dealing with it is because these this cabal in Antarctica they're waiting for the Elohim to come back or they could be waiting for this kind of solar flare thing which could happen in uh, 2030 um, I think the reason the cabal wants to keep the existence of non-human intelligence a secret is because they want the mo all of humanity, the majority of humanity, to die out, and when most people die out, 
they can come in with their advanced technology and and create a new society i think that's that that may be one reason why they're keeping this a secret why they don't want to push for disclosure it's because they're waiting for the the civilization that's 8 billion people strong they they're waiting for that civilization to die, to die out either through nuclear war maybe they're trying to provoke war between russia and you know they maybe they want the nuclear war although i don't i don't think that's a good idea but cuz they're going to destroy the planet but you know like i you know like in that previous video i shared with about the um antarctica you know maybe the as was mentioned in that video maybe they just want us to fight each other and and kill each other so the population gets reduced and then they can take over you know they waiting for us to kill each other <laughs> or they or they could be waiting for the solar flare to happen in 2013 or they could be waiting for the elohim to come back the point is maybe they don't have any plans to share this technology you know another way to look at it is maybe one way they are willing to share the technology is if they can implement the one world government and one of the men because humans humans are so easy to manipulate and because humans have their a lot of nukes this cabal might be afraid that if they share this technology with humans humans will use it for war and destroy the planet so they want to create a system by which they can control humanity either through the information war or through this kind of um, artificial intelligence and maybe the cure that was uh, that has this nanotechnology is part of this mechanism of creating a race of humans that are easier to control through artificial intelligence through the implanting of thoughts directly into our brains you know using the satellites and everything maybe they just want they're afraid that humanity will blow up the planet and they want to control humanity so so humans don't you know go around fighting each other <laughs> i think that's their fear they're afraid of humans destroying the planet um uh so i don't know I, what what do they, what do i think they should do i think they should tell humanity the truth tell them everything none of these secrets none of these disinformation mission misinformation can none of this bullshit tell humans the truth tell humans the truth no more games no none of that bullshit okay and then uh, you know but maybe in the past when the gods so called live with live with humans uh you know maybe previous civilizations got wiped out because of these wars and maybe they they learned from the past and they realized that they cannot give humans oh, technology because they'll start fighting i think humans deserve to be told the truth Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the fears of the cabal is, humans deserve to be told the truth. Whatever it is. I I think the Lacerda files are accurate. I think the biblical story w- with some modifications because I think it was changed later on to make it seem like this is a story about god the creator of the universe whereas it actually the story about the aliens and their relationship with humans and how they created us and all that um i think the lizard of files is true i i i am putting i believe it's true 
I think it gives a lot of insight into our human history. Um, because I believe it. I believe in in the authenticity of the Lesotho files. And, you know, there was this, they did a remote viewing on it, and the remote view was said that it was true. But I think that the, the, when you read the Lesotho files, it's sort of self validating. It just sounds very authentic. Uh, do we, are we going to fight the Elohim? Maybe. Maybe we're going to have to fight them. Some people think they're coming back. Yeah. Maybe they're going to have to, we're going to have to fight them. But things are a little bit more complicated because I think there are other alien species and they might be these interdimensional entities, these AI type of things uh, that are like non-corporeal and so things aren't all all that simple. We might talk about some of this stuff. There's, you know, when I say this is all my theory, this is all. I mean, I'm all. I'm just synthesizing information from all of these sources, and I'm saying what I agree with. Obviously, I didn't all originate it. I'm sort of sharing information, thinking what sort of makes sense to me. <sighs> anyway. 